teachers, you are sincerely requested to remain seated throughout the program and avoid getting up to meet your children. You are permitted to make a loud noise and cheer all the kids and clap loudly for all the participants. It encourages them. Okay, so before we start this evening's program, okay, uh, we are here to celebrate 25 years of the special school, Holy Cross Convent Special School, and it's a special moment for all of us because many of our kids are coming on stage which they wouldn't do otherwise. Am I right? Okay, and you are very good parents and very good uh, adults. And I said right and left, but only right and left. Come on, yeah, just let's shake hands, let's say good evening. Come on, guys. I'm just trying to, you know, lift the atmosphere. Everybody's so serious. Only that Sardar is smiling, look at his face, smiling continuously. But he's all very serious. Hai. Okay. No, I'm not phone number. Matlo. Lovely. So, good evening, everybody. Are we ready to start the program? The children are ready from one week. Correct? Are we ready to encourage them? Are you going to clap loudly? Sister Anthony is happy, she is looking inside the trial round for the moment. Very good. You clapped very well. You clapped very well. Okay. But uh, don't clap only for your kids. Huh? Clap for every child who comes on stage. Okay? Very good. Now when you clap, you clap very well. But you are using your hands. Correct? And your mouth is uh, free. No? Correct? So we can make some noise. No? Correct? Uh, what are you doing? Make some noise now when you clap. We'll do a trial round now for this. Make some noise. Come on. Woo! Come on, everybody. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's it. Sister, it's good enough. No, sister, say no. Real loud. Come on. So far, so far. Begin this evening's program. An enchanting evening of a timeless recollection of the past 25 years lie lightly on the edges of time, like two drops on the tip of a leaf. In the last 25 years, Holy Cross Convent Special School has been enthusiastic to uphold independent thinking, creativity, responsibility, and a strong sense of moral integrity. And it is overwhelming that we now count 25 years for the inception of Holy Cross Convent Special School. I, Elton Arana, your host for this evening, consider it my privilege and honor to welcome you for this evening celebration to join us in celebrating these incredible 25 years to service of this mission. I'm very happy to see everyone blooming in the spirit of this Silver Jubilee Celebration Day. It's amazing to navigate these past few weeks for children who are working hard and preparing for the main day. Because of your affection and encouragement, we see our children in high spirits even after such tiring days. The annual day celebration is a tradition that started ever since the school was established. Our hearts are overjoyed to see such enthusiastic participation by all our students who have been carrying forward the torch of the celebration for the last 25 years. Every year, the level of anticipation only increases. It makes us more excited to see what's coming ahead. Having said that, I invite all of you, please stand, even as you welcome our chief guests and our honored dignitaries. Let's all stand and give them a round of applause. Our chief guests, Sister Bromali, Palikar, Provincial Superior, Sister Rosita Jakes, founder of the Holy Cross Convent Special School, Sister Alcy Anthony, Current Manager and Principal of Holy Cross Convent Special School. <laughs> Sister Jennifer Perron, Current Principal of Holy Cross Junior College. Sister Jonah Field, Current Principal of Holy Cross High School. Sister Caitanya Godino, Current Headmistress of the Primary Section. Sister Lutz Navidius, and all the Sisters of the Cross who have come from Pune, Aurangabad and Goa. Light always fades away darkness. Light symbolizes knowledge and wisdom and free will. 
Anju, Tuja Sandhya, PTA Secretary Mr. Makaran, Johan and Joanna, students to light the lamp. Round of applause as the lights will land.
truly elated to introduce our chief guest, Sister Bromadi, Provincial Superior of Pune Province. Sister Bromadi has a wide experience in the field of education as she has worked in various schools as a teacher as well in administrative posts in Goa and is highly qualified having graduated in PSC, MSc, MA and BA. She is now the provincial of the Sister of the Cross, Pune Province. Besides, she is also a president of the Western Region CRI which is a body that coordinates and motivates the group of all religious of the Western Region of our country. Sister Bromadi is a motivated leader brimming with intelligence, receptivity, creativity, deeply spiritual and a motivator. Which reminds us of Irving McManus who said, Talent alone doesn't win. Hard work, determination and character must be the foundation. If you root your talent and ability in these, then you have a powerful combination. A loving and approachable person, Sister Bromade, has a heart directed towards our special children and loves them to the core. We extend a hearty welcome, dear sister, and we hope you have an enjoyable time with us. We will now give a floral welcome to our dear Sister Bromade. Special School. Sister commenced her career as an educationist in the year 1974. From 1992 to 96, Sister Rosita was the principal of Holy Cross Convent High School, Thane. Around 1990, she visualized a need of a psychologist and Holy Cross Convent High School was the first school in Thane to utilize the services a visionary who thought much ahead of time, realizing the need for inclusion and upholding the rights of persons with disabilities. She established Holy Cross Convent Special School for children who are intellectually challenged in 1996. Hard work, determination and grit is all what I can describe of Sister Rosita, whose courage and zeal is an inspiration to society. Sister, you are indeed an agent for social change. Sister Rosita is a leader whose honesty, compassion, loyalty and friendliness carried both her ideas and her accomplishments to great heights. We will now give a gracious welcome to our dear sister Rosita. Today's event is the wholehearted efforts of our students and so we begin by unfolding the Silver Jubilee logo, special at 25, in different forms. This act will be performed by our career training center students. The act's name is called the Tree of Love. Every act will lead us to the Jubilee logo.
discuss before we started. This hand represented the two hands, the hands of the givers, the generous benefactors of our institution. We owe our gratitude to these supporters of the school, who for us are like representatives of God. Love for children is such a powerful force. It's there for everyone to embrace that kind of unconditional love for all children. That is the kind of love that impels people to go into the community and try to change conditions for children to take risks for what they believe in. Now, called the Wizard of Oz. These Chinese children of the school, as you know, are not able to communicate properly. Their movements are slower and restricted than the others. They find it difficult to stay in one place and yet they have done this wonderful act to perfection. Please note, even the voices that you hear in the act are the voices of these wonderful children. Let's welcome them with a round of applause. The Wizard of Oz.
You are in magical land of Oz. You are in magical land of Oz. You are in magical land of Oz.
he wears features, red shoes, everything turns to be magical. All seem to be happy. Rita and the munchkins are overjoyed. But they notice Dorothy and Toto seem to be a bit sad. Glinda asks them, how can we help you? Dorothy and Toto want to go back to Kansas. Glinda guides them to go to the Wizard of Oz for help. All the munchkins back up by saying, yes, yes, the wizard can help. Glinda describes the wizard as the great, the wise and the wonderful. So Dorothy and Toto wish to know, how do we go to the wizard's house? Glinda guides them to follow the yellow brick road.
they reached the wizard's house. The great, the wise, the wonderful wizard of Oz. The wizard only helps them who help themselves. He tells Dorothy that he wants the magical broom of the wicked witch. Dorothy, Toto, Tin Man, Scarecrow and the Lion decide to go together and get the magical broomstick from the wicked witch. As they see the witch, they are scared. The witch tries to scare them more. Tin Man, Scarecrow, and Lion decide to be courageous. And Dorothy picks up a water jug and pours it on the wicked witch. As soon as the water touches the witch, she melts away. And hooray! They all have got the magical broom and now they all are free to go back to Kansas, be courageous, have a heart to love, have a mind to think. Hooray! The wicked witch of the West is gone far, far away.
to see all the children, like I said, these are the tiny children of the school. They all came in at the right time, they danced and they said their words also so well. Even some of the words that you couldn't recognize but they spoke so well and I think uh, the school did a wonderful job. Uh, the act just performed gave us four important values. They are courage, love, vision and collaboration and the most important among these is love. These values help us create our dream and make it into a reality. I just was looking at this uh, this act and uh, you could see Dorothy was continuously changing. Did you notice that? Dorothy was continuously changing. I just thought, this thought came to my mind, if I was a Hindi movie, then the producer was empty. But what is the underlying uh, message here? That every child can be like Dorothy. Every child, you know, if they understand their, where they lack, they can work together, collaborate, you know, and overcome that lack. And the school, Holy Cross Convent Special School, does just that. The school, the teachers, okay, the support staff, they collaborate together to help the child grow. The school collaborates with the benefactors and all together with love and with a vision, help these children overcome what they lack and prepare them for the real world. So I, I believe, once again, please put your hands together for all these wonderful children. They need all an awesome job, okay, an awesome job. And every day, I've been, I've seen this for the second time yesterday. I was there. So many new things, and they all come came in so beautifully well. Before we move forward, I want to invite and uh, ask uh, Father Thompson Kinney, he's the principal of Saint John's School. Please stand, Father. We want to welcome you. Give him a round of applause. And Father Robin is there also from Saint John's. Please stand. Let's give them a warm round of applause. Thank you, Father, for coming. It's wonderful to have you with us. I know Father Thompson from the time he was in St. Pius. Lovely. We will now have uh, a small video a clipping of the achievements and my by the Sisters of the Cross of Sherwood is a repository of invaluable wisdom, rich history and timeless beginnings. Nourished continuously by the sack of Christ, they live to bear his fruit. Holy Cross Convent Special School, founded by Sister Rosita Jakes. <laughs> a society becomes a rich tapestry not because of the similarity, but because of the variety of individuals. Deeply influenced by the inclusivity practiced by Mother Brody, and to build a community based on the uniqueness of the special children, emerged Holy Cross Convent Special School for our differently able children in 1996. We are called to represent his kingdom on earth and a decade later, Sister Ansi essayed her role as an ambassador of Christ and the principal of the Holy Cross Global Special School. Like the turtle, we stick our neck out to make progress and a decade later, hope 2006, made waves with a glittering ensemble from the music and movie industry. It takes a village to raise a child, and the good Samaritans of our day have brought it and encouraged us in our journey, which led to the inauguration of the gymnasium in 2009. 
meditating on their motor coordination and skills, the sensory integration part introduced the children to activities such as water therapy and play equipments in the year 2010. With the aim of making the child self-reliant and financially independent by providing proper training and sharpening their skills to enable them to gain employment opportunities, the Career Training Center was inaugurated in the year 2011, a sponsored project by the Rotary Club of Thani Hills, by the then president, Mr. Vijay Shetty and team. Not by strength, but by perseverance. A single floor structure grew tall to a robust three-story institution with excellent infrastructure and facilities for our students. Meanwhile, in 2017, a lift was installed in our school for the convenience of our students, sponsored by IMOX Air Products. If the world is your oyster, you are alive. Classroom learning is only as good as learning outside the school walls. Integrating technology was the imminent need of the hour and audiovisual aids. An interactive digital board installed in the AV room made teaching and learning a pleasurable part to tread on every day. With the school progressing, a need was seen to introduce various therapies for our students. Communication is an integral life skill and speech therapy is practiced regularly to initiate and develop their communication progress. Cognitive development, gross and fine motor skills, eye-hand coordination is undertaken under occupational therapy. The best therapist has fur and four legs and our in-house therapy dog Harley engages our children in areas of their emotional, physical, mental, behavioral and speech development. Animal assisted therapy increases feelings of self-efficacy and improved self-esteem, lowers levels of anxiety and depression, improves social relationship skills and quality of life while reducing distress levels through the processing of traumatic emotion. Counseling for the emotional well-being of the students and parents is imperative and encouraged. In a divided world, sports is a unifying factor to bridge relation and bolster friendship. Rigorous sports such as swimming, football and table tennis, as well as community games such as leveling spoon and sack race, kindle a healthy competitive spirit and rejuvenate both mind and body. Swimming is an excellent full body and mind aerobic exercise and the Thani Municipal Corporation offered their swimming pool to our students free of cost. Many students benefited from this group, even winning medals at a competitive level. A notable mention must be made of our student, Ms. Reshma Sheikh, who won the silver medal in table tennis at the Special Olympics 2019 held in UAE, Abu Dhabi. The special school regularly challenges their students with experiential and educational visits. An awareness program to sensitize the society about differently abled persons is held on 3rd December every year. And with great gusto in COVID, despite the restrictions, we continue our education and celebrations online. On our 24th annual day, which we celebrated online, our provincial sister Brahmatin launched the Silver Jubilee logo, marking the beginning of the Silver Jubilee Year. All festivals are celebrated with equal fervor, beginning with Guru Purnima, Grand Balance Day, National Day, Founders Day, School Feast, Teachers Day, Diwali, Children's Day and Christmas. If the world is asked to explore, we shall leave no stone unturned 
and so we organize excursions and camps so as to acclimatize our children even in unfamiliar surroundings. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. At our school, the outreach program Joy of Giving is filled with cheerful hearts donating useful articles to the needy. Staff workshops were conducted to upgrade them with the latest knowledge and teaching techniques. Workshops for parents are arranged every year. The Parents Teachers Association has played a vital role in the progress of the school with their constant support, be it raising funds for the school or in every assistance for which we are ever grateful. If you can't get a miracle, be one. Our team endures by our students, triumphing against all odds, have been chronicled in newspaper, magazines, and other forms of media. They have become a role model for others, and this has gladdened our hearts. The dedication and commitment of the school's management towards the progress of our special children has attracted the benevolent eye of many benefactors and they have graced our celebratory days on many occasions. Students' training were collaborated with professionals from various industries to fine-tune their skills and also help them in their choice of career. It is a badge of honor why we named some of them, Joel Montero and David Hartle, both working in the office, Sharon, an assistant in the jewelry and handicraft business, Watson Bayani, who works in a garment shop, Hart Kanpan, who is an on-stage actor, Bob Parker, working in Reliance Smart. Coming together in the year 1996 was a historic beginning. Keeping together meant progress at every step. Working together every day means success. With the grace of our Almighty God and with your continued support and patronage, we continue to sing. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. I now invite Sister Ansi Anthony, the current manager and principal of Holy Cross Convent Special School, to, to facilitate our benefactors for the noble work that they have done for our school. This is indeed a day of joy and thanksgiving for the blessings received through development, progress, and achievement in Holy Cross Convent Special School over the last 25 years and more. I am reminded of a little incident that brought new perspective to my thinking. It was the usual classroom with children who are special, learning the subject gender knowledge. After a writing activity was done, it was time to check the books. There was a child with autism in my class who wrote the answers without completing them. I wrote them in his book with a red pen the red pen which is favorite of a teacher, incomplete. The following day, the child came forward with the same notebook. He had completed the answers, but he had blackened with the pencil the word incomplete, which I had written and wrote in its place, please complete. Such is the power lying within special children. On this note of positive thinking, I wish to appreciate and honor the persons we value as blessings in many different ways. They brought positivity and kindness and made it possible for the life of these special children to be fulfilled through learning. Most of all, you are our partners in making the special child self-reliant.
I wish to invite Mr. Zagreis. I request you, sir, to be stand to stand to run. Mr. Zagreis from Iron Air Products. Allow me to invite Mr. Sarkar Bhusan, sir, for the initiative in installing the lift for special children with a much needed facility and with the constant support he has offered to us. I invite our chief guest, Mr. Brahmadin, to felicitate them. I request Miss Nancy to get the memento for the benefactors. Papa. Meanwhile, we have some important guests who couldn't make it and I would like to acknowledge their contribution. Mr. Vikram Kamat, Chairman of Vince Kamat Group of Hotels for encouraging their initiative of inclusion of different able persons through training and job placement. Mr. Gaurav Barai from Sharanam Hotel for collaborating and facilitating the internship of our students in home science. Mr. Pramodan, please do the honor of taking the moment too. from high school for the love and every ready service for special children at all times. Under his leadership as president of Rotary Club of Thane Hills, 
the dream project of a career training center totally equipped became a reality. I request you, Mr. President, to kindly come forward. We also have the president of Rotary Club for the current year, Mr. Jaira. Father Mufasa as king of the Pride Land. However, after 
his paternal uncle Scar kills Mufasa to seize the throne, Simba is tricked into believing he was responsible for his father's death and he flees into exile. After growing up in the company of Timon and Pumba, Simba receives valuable perspectives from these friends. He meets Nala, his childhood friend, before returning to Scar to end his journey and take the place in the circle of life as the rightful king. Mufasa 
is not happy about the celebrations happening around. He has been the former leader of the Lion Guard and he desires to rule the Pride Rock. Near the elephant cave. 
Bofasa doesn't want them to go, but Simba keeps the plan a secret.
No. No. doesn't know what to do and he just leaves the kingdom. With this, Scar becomes the king of the Pride Land and his army is surrounded by the Hylas.
the patient? Eight hey, this. And again, Independence and self reliance.
Let's give them all a round of applause even as you read out the names. These are all the achievers for 22 and 23. Thank you so much. Service of Love with their fruitful service here at Holy Cross Convent Special School. I now invite Shilpa to felicitate Mrs. Manju, also formerly known as Manju Maushi, and Sneer, also lovingly called Sneer Thai. They have completed 25 years at Holy Cross Convent Special School. Shilpa. Thank 
Sachdev Shilpa and all come under one category known as intellectually challenged. Children have difficulty with concentration, sitting span, limitation, speech impairment and like they like to move around for simulation instead of being in one position. Children with autism are highly sensitive to sound, light, smell, touch and they have difficulty in sensory coordination and thus prefer living in their own world. You saw the kids performing, many of them, a few of them were closing their ears, closing their eyes because of the lights and the sound. It has taken a lot of effort to listen and speak and understand and act today. Every dialogue is said by the children. Though the speech may not be clear, they are adjusting to the bright lights and the loud sounds and the crowd around waiting for their turn. All these are great achievements for our special children and it's the first time they are into dramatic. So please put your hands together once again for all these wonderful, wonderful children. And uh, Sister Rosita invited her to say a few words to the stage already. Dear parents, teachers, my dear children, while I was sitting there, I was reminiscing how this idea came. And you know how? While I was the principal of the school here in Tani, I went to St. John's School to meet the principal there. He was Father Simon Borges. I don't remember the year, perhaps 74. And while I was talking about the subject I had gone for, we had finished. And he said, Sister, why don't the sisters start a special school? There are so many children and we have no place for them. Perhaps through him came the inspiration to start the special school. God for giving me the courage to go ahead, not depending on myself, but through my contacts with parents in the high school, I knew how supportive they were. And so, when I put this inspiration before my community of sisters, the superior said, go ahead. Well, that was enough, and I did not look back. 74, 75. Oh, the parents were so, so, so very generous. We sent an appeal, and in flowed the money we required. Mr. Mohan Vaitya gave us his services as an architect free of cost. We started the construction with full faith in God, but more faith in the people of Tani. We approached many companies too and they were always so generous, generous. We had to do two fundraisers and that was enough for the initial building. And we started the school on the World Handicap Day, 3rd of December 1996. So this is the baby of yours, of the citizens of Tani. You have contributed so very much towards this project. We as sisters could not have done it alone. So I stand here with a heart full of gratitude 
to the parents, to the students, especially when I was there, 74, 75, and 75, 76. I worked in the school for nine years. Of course, transfers are always good. Then I had to move out. And the school was handed over to Sister Ansi. And you can see the tremendous growth that has taken place. I know she has, has the full support from you as parents, as benefactors, as companies through the donations that came in. You, it is your baby. You have sustained it and you will maintain it. So my congratulations goes to you, dear parents, for recognizing the need to help these children. I won't say much, but a heart full of gratitude. Thank you. I pray that you experience God's peace in your soul, His power in your life, and His presence in your heart. Thank you. It is a proud moment for the school as the Career Training Center students have completed five years here at the Holy Cross Common Special School and are getting ready to go into the real world to save the land and independent. And now I invite Preeti to do your best. one and all and it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. They will soar on wings like angels as in Isaiah 1431. Talent and skill are the crops that are nurtured, groomed and given all possible opportunities to grow and bloom. Graduation day is a celebration of the harvest of this crop. This is a much-awaited event in every student's life as it gives the returns to the effort put in by the students throughout the academic interview. It's a day full of joy, a day about pride and accomplishment, a day of celebration. It gives a sense of achievement and a sense of responsibility toward fulfilling further commitments. It fills the heart with mixed feelings of fulfillment and eagerness. They get ready to march to the beat of the business world. Here's a lot more to come. Goals, challenges and opportunities. Anything is possible when you just believe in yourself. I take immense pleasure in requesting our founder, Sister Rosita, and our chief guest, Sister Bromedine, to please come forward and uh, distribute the certificates to our children as a graduate. Now I request our students to come on stage. And so I request this Romidi and Sister Rosita to give away and our principal sister Ansi to give away the certificates to our students. Candidates receiving certificates, please come forward as your name is called out.
of you sitting here. Respected dignitaries, a special mention to Sister Rosita, Sister Elsie, the principal, all the sisters here, all our esteemed benefactors, the political support extended with your esteemed presence to each and every parent to each and every past parent, students, past pupils and those who are not able to make it here today and they are still with us through the online platform. My heart filled with gratitude to God who makes all things possible in His own way, in His own time to tell us that He is alive and He depends on each of us to make this world a better place. Change is possible when we allow ourselves to be transformed by the care that God has for each of us, words of Pope Francis. Holy Cross Special School was inaugurated in 1996. Yes, to the Society of the Holy Cross Sisters. With the grace of God and the support of each and every one of you. You have experienced this evening the graciousness of God through every child. In Exodus 4.11, we read, The Lord said to him, Who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? Is it not I, the Lord? And Jesus, on teaching, tells in one of his when he was invited to a party, he said to his host, when you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives or your neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. A special school website we read, the differently able person has the same rights as the other human being to proper mental and physical care and such educational training, rehabilitation and guidance as well will enable him or her to develop his or her potential to the maximum. It speaks much about the dynamism and purposefulness of this institution. It speaks of what you have seen presented here right before your eyes. Where would these little angels be without caring hands that directed, that are directed by wise minds and gentle hearts. On this day, I stand here to thank each and every one of you for joining hands with us, the management and staff, helping us to make this world a little better with our tiny efforts. When I say our, it is us not only, but you with us. The world in the church today, we are talking about synodality. Walking together in communion, participation and mission. This is what synodality is all about. Sister
compositor has already given us a chest to dream this big dream the lord spoke to the heart of the then headmistress of holy cross convent school tani sister rosita james we are truly honored to have you with us here dear sister rosita on behalf of our province of pune i thank and praise god for you for giving you the power to endure to tie over the uneasiness that normally accompanies new ideas special education was not very palatable then and i wonder how much it is still even now sister rosita to voluntary retirement from what normally one holds as a prestigious post of being the headmistress of a prestigious institution like our founders mother claudine she saw a possibility in her to make things happen sensing the need of the art and in her own words we have seen the motivation the inspiration that sister shared she made a deliberate choice to reach out to the children who are marginalized and she knew how to place her trust in divine providence i happened to be here as a young sister in the community then she had a certain principle and she said it this is your baby she always said with a certain pride about our motherland she believed in the greatness of the indian she was bent not to take any foreign aid to run this institution neither to build it and she believed in new people of pune congratulations she motivated the parents of our school the then pta and i'm sure the present one and all those who were there over the years 25 years and more stood by us did their very best to raise funds and i remember those first years they used to bring vegetables clean it put it in packets ready to be sold so that you know they were parents and the people who simply go home and cook it but those were the basic ways the funds were raised i was really elated handkerchiefs well embroidered paper bags rakis name it and every stone was turned the right way to build up the corpus for this institution the school had to go on and yes it did with such great and humble a leader at its head i congratulate the staff the baby felicitator the few who opted to work for these children but equally dedicated yes they i think they need a very loud round of applause they did not go for glamorous pay packs rather they chose to serve these special children with love thanks to each of you dear staff members those who are here and those who have moved out may the good god be your reward and bless your families too because i think the family needs to stand by every teacher it means a lot with the sisters getting trained to continue this great ministry sister rosita and you thank graciously passed on the baton to sister nc the current principal of the special school sister nc fanned the flame and the school has graduated today it's a career training center and again thanks to all of you many benefit work alongside sister rosita and sister nc in the special school the support meant a lot special at 25 surely 
who made it special. Yes, you, my dear children, they are backstage, teachers, support staff, benefactors, well-wishers, and my dear sisters. The Lord, the one who created these children and each of us, sustains them and through each of you brings out the best in each child to make her and him a special person he wants them to be. Our mission as Sisters of the Cross continues magnanimously through this challenging and enthusing adventure of attending God's special gifts. Each telling a story that God makes all things possible for the one who believes. Yes, your children, parents and staff members, there's a special blessing reserved for those who love little children. And each of you, in your own way, is a prophet. Why a prophet? Because each of you are a living witness to our world and its people. When we, the so-called normal people, take everything and everyone for granted. They, or rather we, see in you, shine. You shine as a child with a different ability. To see you, parent, with a heroic patient, patience and ardent love for your child and others. They see you as a teacher with an extra large heart, a wonder head, eyes that conquer with a glance, and a perfect icon with generous hands all over you. Oh my, don't be envy you. Many times, or normally, we say they are challenged. Rather, personally, I feel challenged when I see a special child. Because it brings out, it challenges me, and I'm sure each of you felt that when I have everything with me, what am I gifting to the world? They challenge me and you to give the best, to recognize the giftedness, the blessings that I am endowed with and to bring out the best in making this world a better place during my time and your time that we trod the earth. Thank you for being you and more than you, being the image and likeness of God in action, a prophet to each child. You are amazing. God bless you, abundantly, children. Congratulations to you, dear Sister NC, staff and students, parents, sisters of the community. May you continue this great service with special love and care. And may the good God direct our path to greater things with dedication and loving service in the footsteps of Mother Claudia. God bless you. Thank you for activities. It provides excellent training in music and singing. And its orchestra is the best orchestra of the blind students as they regularly perform all over India. Amazing. They're here with us. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, very hearty congratulations to Holy Cross Special Students here. Thank you, Sister NC, for inviting us here. So we can show our talent to her. And you have seen. Uh, net, on Netflix, you have seen Money Heist uh, series, right? So, you might be knowing the famous song, Vela Chao. So, first we will start with the instrumental, with the same song. So, 
If anyone would like to dance, they can dance. We will enjoy. Thank you very much.
और एक मूवी का गाना है जो लकी लकी बहुत अच्छी तरह से गाता है ऋतिक रोशन मूवी इफ यू हैव परमिशन said the wrong song he he has directed me so please hear it
donation for us and that we have received here. So thank you very much for it. We will come to have a song. We will play the song for the county of the
We appreciate your love and dedication to help our students. From the depths of our hearts, we thank our Holy Cross Convent High School girls for assisting our students. The beautiful ensemble that you see around you, setting a grand ambience, is the work of our decorators. For this, we owe our thanks to Mr. Faro, Avas Radio. You were all witness to the enrapturing depiction of visuals which could only be so impactful because of the exceptional sound and light system for which we thank High Tech Sound, Mr. Johnny, and Assistant, Mr. Frankie. And of course, you would all look forward to permanently capturing your children's performance in your memory. We thank Photo Culture, Mr. Ernest and team who have taken care of that for you with beautiful pictures of the event. And thanks to all our online viewers through the school YouTube channel. For the magnificent LED walls set up by Cindy, which appeared so realistic, we thank Mr. Mahendra and team. For a program to run smoothly is in the hands of the host. We thank Mr. Elton Arhana, our host, for the evening for a harmonious coordination of the event with students and staff. The young and vibrant trainers from Helen O'Grady International, we appreciate you for readily accepting the challenge to train special children, which brought out through genetics the strength and potential that lies within these children. I request Ms. Prashali and T to come up on the stage. I also request now our principal, Sister Ramsey, who will felicitate the team with a token of appreciation.
We have Ali, the mascot here. We have to make some noise for Ali. Come on, guys. We look stupid with that bow. Her vision for the future was so high 
that she started a career training center for the training in employment, ability skills for a bright future of our special children. I'm glad to say that on 6th June 2015, Rotary Club of Tane Lake City honored Sister Hansi with Vocational Excellence Award for her exemplary humanitarian service. There are no words that can describe our love and gratitude for the years of care, love and tenderness, for your patience, generosity and boundless thoughtfulness. You imprint lives forever in the hearts and minds of all the staff and special children of Holy Cross Convent Special School. You have rekindled our passion and motivated us to deliver the best to the students. We are always grateful to God for giving us you to us. On this silver occasion, we feel privileged to honor our ever enthusiastic and dedicated principal, Sister Anxi. Don't you feel that? Yes. We are request Sister Anxi to please come at the center and accept the honor as a mark of our love and gratitude. Yes, and now as I would request Smita teacher, Nancy Miss, Miss uh, Nara, uh, Miss Mil uh, Militsa, and Asha Naushi, and as they represent different departments of our school, to give a small token of appreciation and thanks, and for the love we have for you, sister. So we present all the people around, you deserve the most. This was not part of the rehearsals, it was a surprise to me. And I thank my staff for this pleasant surprise that you have given me and the respect that you have for me. Thank you very much. I take the opportunity on behalf of all parents to thank the to thank sister and the Holy Cross. Uh, teachers and the support staff. I have just a two minutes something to say, please. Our gratitude to you, Sister Anzi. I request one of the sit for a second. And all the teachers, not forgetting the support staff for all you have done, which we will never forget. A big thank you for taking care of our children. We truly appreciate you and your time you spent in helping us bring our children where they are now today. We are grateful for our life and destiny for bringing us to this school. The beautiful experience with the teachers and the care that they take of all the children is something that money cannot buy. Even during the lockdown, their efforts did not lessen. The same interest and zeal they continued their teaching, which I feel they need a big round of applause. This makes us realize that we have something special that many don't have. If it hadn't been for you all, we would not know the true potential of our children. We would urge all the parents of the ongoing batch to kindly help and support the school management and teachers in every way possible because all that they are doing is for the sake of our children's future. I would like to thank the sisters, teachers and especially the students of the normal school who are always willing to volunteer to assist the children of the special school in all their events and functions very willingly and happily. Please be rest assured we will always be available to help in whatsoever way even in the future. Sister Rosetta and Sister Ansi, cheers to you and your team of teachers. You all are the best. God bless you. Thank you so much everyone. I will now request you to just be seated, uh, stand up for the Bandi Mataram and after that just uh, uh, sit down for our minutes. So please stand straight now as we are going to play the Bandi Mataram. <laughs>
Take care.